feel like it'd be a little more difficult? Definitely, it's, it's much faster because the guy's right in front of you. You know, you, you have a little bit more space to come off the ball left guard and even more space to left tackle or right guard to right tackle. So the guy's right there and you really got to move quick. Michael, have you talked to Billy at all? Yes. What, what has he told you? What, what have you uh, he just really told me, he said, you know, work on taking short steps and really firing off the ball. And he said, don't think about snapping. Once you start thinking about it, that's when you're going to mess up. How long did it take you to master the uh, shotgun snap? I mean, had you, had you done that ever in the past? Never. Yeah. So how much time did you spend on it? Maybe like one time in seventh grade. Wait, when? Maybe like one time in seventh grade, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how much time did you spend on it, you know, this summer? Because that's um, the, little, the little flip Hours, like hours, days. I mean, I spent a, a numerous amount of time just trying to play center. And who was catching it? Who was catching those snaps? Uh, it would be either Dwayne or Tate. Yeah. Isaiah Prince said he actually took enough of your snaps in the offseason that he's now the emergency quarterback. <laughs> is, there, is there any truth to that? Isaiah Prince? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. No. No, he's just joking. He's just joking. Well, Isaiah Prince is a sprinter. Did you ever consider before the summer when they came to you that you, you, know, you saw what Billy and Pat did, did you ever think that that would be a potential option for you? Yes, I did. Hey, so Mike, how long is that you a better thinking? new hairdo this year because you're a center? <laughs> it is better. It's a lot better. So is something that you, did you want to do it? Is that the... Did you push for it, or how did that all play? It's really, uh, Coach said he asked me, and I said, yeah, you know, I, I accept the task, and I, ultimately, it was my decision to choose. He wasn't going to force me to do it, so it was my choice, and I ultimately chose to play center. What, what made it appealing for you? Just the fact that we can have the best five guys out there at all times. And that, was, that, was that brought up, too, you know, when Coach Stud or whatever talked to you about it? Was that brought up about the best five being out there? No. Yeah. I just thought about it myself. Yeah. Malcolm, obviously Malcolm's rise <laughs> yeah. at left guard. I mean, uh, what have you seen out of him? And obviously you had to have somebody of quality step into your shoes. You know, uh, what have you seen out of him over the last six months the lights come on? What, what have you seen that's just stood out? I think he's grown more mature mentally in the football game. He's always been physical. He's always been dominant. That's never been a problem, but I think he's grown in that area of the game. Did, did, is it, obviously, you're aware the last two guys who switched from guard to center at Ohio State won the Remington Award. <laughs> yeah. Is that a lot of pressure on you? Yes, most it, definitely. <laughs> but it, I would think you're thinking that, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, how does that motivate you? Motivates me every day to make sure, you know, my snaps are good and make sure that I'm doing my assignments, make sure I'm organizing the O-line and make sure that I have everything right. That, on that last point, we've talked a lot about the snap, but how tough was it to get that whole, you're the field general up there and you have to recognize not just your assignments, but pretty much everyone else's? So it was kind of like a, a step one, step two, step three process. So like once you learn how to place in there certain steps, so uh, one of the steps is like hitting your right, um, your arm on your thigh over and over in the same spot and make sure you hit that same spot over and over and then the ball will appear in the same spot. Mike, when did you start to feel comfortable? After Saturday. After Saturday. <laughs> what was it? Was it, Mike? Because it's really challenging going against our D-line. Our D-line is really good. good I was playing at center if it was something that I you know I need to there's definitely a lot more room for progress for me but I didn't think it was too bad for my first time